Chinese because he grew up in Cambodia. Interesting uh, how people have these ridiculous stereotypes about each other. Next image, please. We're almost at the very end. Um, a drawing I did of a Muslim Gazan boy uh, and a Jewish Israeli boy, both killed on opposite sides of the Israeli Palestinian conflict. This is the drawing, and I was working on it. I got a bunch of, uh, at what we call a dollar store in, 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 in Seattle, all these like toy guns and stuff, water pistols, and so on. This photograph I took from the newspaper about a year and a half ago. A Muslim girl from Gaza, collateral damage in an Israeli rocket attack uh, that was targeting a bomb maker in the car next to hers, killed her mother, left her completely paralyzed from the neck down, quadriplegic. Her best friend, they both live in a hospital in Jerusalem, a Jewish boy who lost half his brain in a um, like Hamas terror attack. And you take kids out of the context of these adult-driven wars, and you have, you know, it's, it's, it's terrific what can happen. Uh, we might have one or two more images. Um, the last mosaic I did, I spent eight months on this last year, a religious Jewish guy uh, in Poland. I, this was taken in um, Newboro, north of Aberdeen last June. I took a walk on the beach. All this British Army World War II uh, ruins in the, in the sand and the dunes. I brought back barbed wire, which I... Uh, Finally figured out how to get uh, onto the mosaic. I bought a glass ashtray at a like a charity thrift store. Put it in there, glued it down upside down. This is a metal rod here, which I picked up on the same walk along the beaches, kind of combining kind of British Scottish World War II history, anti-Nazi, anti-tank fortifications, with this history I was doing about World War II in Poland. Next image, please. I think we're at the end. Um, these kids were probably, I figured out, a